Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 18th, 2018. So my goodness, everyone, um, we just had an ugly day of whipsaws yesterday. Um, I'm going to jump to an intraday chart here. I'm going to take a quick look at a 15 minute. And you can see yesterday we had this nasty gap down and run lower followed by a whipsaw right back up that tested the resistance of last Friday's lows, only to find sellers there pushing us down, breaking th through supports. So essentially we had ourselves a double whipsaw yesterday. And this morning we are whipsawing the other direction. Um, as I speak right now, we're looking at a gap up of about 200 points. So uh, talk about a mess. Um, we are really in an ugly situation here. But are there some silver linings? Um, I believe there could be. Let's first, let's take a look at the weekly charts here. If we take a look uh, at a weekly on the diamonds, notice that we're right here at a very, very critical level of support. If we can hold in this level, I'm obviously losing some support yesterday, but if we can hold in this level, bounce off of that, and then start to... Um, um, hold some um, um, upper support levels as we break through, we could begin to see um, a bit of a recovery. We, we still have a downtrend that we have to deal with, and we certainly have a tremendous amount of um, of political uncertainty out there um, that can still affect us in either direction so this is going to be really important now gapping back up above this level um, today on the daily is important but what's going to be really critical is how we deal with this resistance level we need to get back up through here and hold prove we can hold that as support now with the fomc meeting um coming on uh, you know beginning today and the, their decision wednesday afternoon it's hard to know how inspired the, the, the market might be in trying to rally back. But um, what we need to hear, what, what will likely help us a lot, is if the FOMC were to back off from their aggressive stance at interest rate increases. And um, tomorrow um, sounds just slightly more dovish avoiding um, the, the December interest rate increase that is largely uh, projected to uh, occur. Um, if they avoid that and then speak a little bit more dovishly in their statement and forecast, that could certainly give us some rally back up and help us. Now, keep in mind, it's not the FOMC's job to save the market in any way, shape, or form. However, I think that they would be highly criticized if they go forward with an interest rate increase at this point in time. It may not be very justified, and so they would have to have some really good reasons to stand by that i'm not sure that they would have those so kind of keep an eye on that if they happen to if they go ahead and stick to their guns and and put on that um, interest rate increase on wednesday we could certainly expect to see the market fall below this level and and the scary thing about that is is there really is no other support under here until we move all the way back down into this area there's little teeny tiny levels of support but we could see some uh, whoops it's not very straight we could see um, a, a major move lower um, if that were to occur so hopefully that's not the case hopefully we'll have a little bit of a um, a, a rally up off of here now I would love to say that is the end of the troubles but then we step right into the possibility of the federal government shutting down on Friday if the Congress and the president can't come to an agreement on the budget so it's we, we still have quite a roller coaster ride here now one of the things i wanted to mention is is almost every day anymore i'm i'm getting emails from folks that are uh, struggling their accounts have been chopped to pieces as a matter of fact some folks have even um, let me know that they have all but broke their accounts in the the last few months of this really wild price action guys I, i'm going to repeat this over and over and over and 
um, can you see the difference? Take a look at the length of candles, the type of price action that we had here compared to what's going on here. This is a very different market. And, and if you're continuously fighting this kind of volatility and continuously losing money, please do yourself a favor. Stop trading. Back up. Protect your capital. This is not your market. In fact, there's... Um, even really, really experienced traders are struggling in this market to hold on to capital because of the whips. If you're in this market, it is very dangerous. There's no doubt about that. So please, please don't lose all your money back to the market. Um, wait, better days will come. I promise you better days will come and if we just are patient and and try to um, stand back you know you win no medals there's no honor there's no heroics for fighting the market and losing your capital um, you're far more heroic by standing aside and waiting and being patient for the better days to return than losing all your capital back to the market. So think about that as you approach this. If you are consistently losing money, stop trading, get some help. You know, like the old saying goes, if you find yourself in a hole, please stop digging. All right. So <clears throat> let's take a quick look at the SPY. SPY very much a bearish picture here. We do have a little bit of hope in the sense that there is some additional support right down here off of those tails, but you got to you got to be looking at this with uh, a fearful eye that we've broken this support and that could be a real um, ugly thing for the market um, going forward. Let's take a quick look right here and see that this morning we're trying to gap right back up above there. That's a positive thing if we can gap up and hold up above that level and then really start to, to develop some energy to the upside. We'll probably have to wait for FOMC to see which side of that line we're going to resolve on um, regarding interest rates. So kind of keep an eye on that. Lots of resistance above, but I want you to notice that we do have significant upside potential just to the next resistance level if we can gain some support in here. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues finally broke down, um, creating a new low and continuing this downtrend, um, which is unfortunate, but we do have this level of support in here that we're gapping back up above this morning. So if we move up and hold in this area, we could still be okay. Keep in mind that any rally back up, we have resistance levels up in here that we're going to have to um, deal with. So we've got a lot of work here before we really start screaming back uh, to the upside. Even if uh, Jerome Powell decides to become very dovish and the market rallies substantially. There's a lot of work that has to be done before we start correcting some of these problems. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, boy, what a sad state of affairs here for IWM. Failing at this resistance, if you guys remember uh, last week I was mentioning this failure and rally back certainly was the most bearish looking of the charts. A perfect failure pattern at resistance and then we have just sunk right down through this next level that I had marked in here. Now, please keep in mind, you could mark this level in several different places, but I kind of went um, off of this uh, weekly chart right here, looking for the most touches to that line. And you can see we've um, uh, ripped through that. And now this morning, the gap up, we're not even coming back up all the way through there yet. So we need to see some pretty substantial strength to get us back up above that resistance area. So let's take a look at the VIX. That poor VIX um, struggling here. And I mentioned yesterday, we need to really watch carefully this level right in here. If the VIX were to poke above there, we could see some massive fear come into the market and a big spike as we did here in February. So far, we held right at that support. 
um, resistance level. And this morning, the gap up should bring us back down slightly. Um, we're certainly not out of the woods here, um, but we want to keep an eye on um, uh, that fear and the potential of panic, particularly if we get an interest rate increase, we could see major panic coming into the market tomorrow. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 was giving us all those warm and fuzzy indicators of, of a possibility of a bounce. Um, down here in the reversal zone, you can see we're almost at zero down here, just tremendous bearishness, which lends us the ability to um, rally to the upside. Now, what I don't want to see, um, what, what we've seen in the past is these great big spikes. We get these ridiculous rallies back um, of five, 600 points all at once, and then all that does is encourage more selling to come back in. We, we have to stop that pattern. We need a little bit calmer uh, move back up. As a matter of fact, a move up that, and that incorporates some nice consolidation would be nice, but I'm not expecting that ahead of the FOMC. It's going to be probably all or nothing. So, um, while we're we may be enjoying a bit of a rally today kind of keep in mind that FOMC can really change everything tomorrow so watch out closely I do think we we are however at that point where I favor the upside here in the market so kind of keep that in mind as you're planning your day forward let's uh, take a quick look at um, the economic calendar this morning the economic calendar we have um, several things going on here in the economic calendar today. First, we have the FOM um, in the FOMC meeting starting. We have housing starts at 8:30 this morning. That is that's a big number that can definitely move the market around. And then tomorrow, you can see a very heavy economic calendar. So. We'll have to watch that closely and kind of keep that in mind as we go forward. Um, on, on that economic calendar. We have some earnings this morning to be made aware of, about 23 companies reporting earnings. Um, some like FDS reporting this morning. Uh, let's see, I don't see, oh my goodness. Um, looks like we're looking at a substantial gap down on FDS this morning. Um, and, and then MU um, is one that's reporting this afternoon. You can see heavily in a downtrend. This needs to find some love of some kind here um, um, in this uh, market. So I'm not going to offer up any potential trade ideas um, today because of the whipsaw that we've seen in the market. I think it's very, very dangerous, and I think it'd be irresponsible for me to do that. We're getting this big gap up this morning, and that's great. That's changed a lot. We've been up as much as 200 points. Now we're up 150 points on uh, the Dow futures. Um, still tremendous amount of whip, so be very, very careful. So, hey guys, I want to wish you all success, and um, I, I really feel for those out there that have really struggled and lost a considerable amount of money. Learn from that. Stop trading until um, better days return uh, in the market. And I promise you they will. Um, they always have in the past and they will again. Um, how long this lasts, I don't know. But we need to get past some of this political uncertainty before um, we can maybe get some um, reasonable price action that we can count on. So with that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and, and drop a comment. Those really help me a ton. And thank you so much for those who do that, that take the time. That means an awful lot to me. Everyone take care, be safe, protect your capital, and we'll talk to you all bright and early FOMC day, Wednesday morning. Have a great day. Take care now. Thank you.